Philip Rosenblum, who was a great dad and a dedicated scientist and a musician. And this is when he um, had uh, made a certain type of telescope that could see through fog and haze uh, many miles away. Uh, that was when he was working uh, at uh, Mammoth. Um, and later on, uh, he went to be involved in the U2 project. Oh, but just before I forget, let me just mention also his role in World War II when he was the uh, captain, is a captain of the United States Air Force, and he participated in World War II. This is part of the story I wrote explaining that type of thing. And there's the airplane that he was, a uh, couple of the airplanes that he was uh, in charge of. I guess you can see that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> to work in California on the U2 project and this is my dad in California that's after I was already born we were living at Newport Beach and that's how I knew him that's uh, him going to work in the morning at his secret uh, Air Force projects it was basically the time of the, the U2 when he was working on the camera for, for that and uh, he'd be shipped out to uh, Area 51, of all places, and uh, they'd be back for the weekends. And then we'd do stuff on the weekends, go, I don't know, go to the, uh, go to the ocean and play and swim, uh, go to the tennis, go to um, just different types of trips. We were always going on trips on weekends, except for, of course, on Shabbat, which was like when we had to learn Hebrew, I had a Hebrew teacher, and, um, well, I had to go to a school that was like, you know, teach about, it would he teach Hebrew, I remember that, learning the Beit, the Olive Beit, and we'd sing Israeli songs, and we'd learn about uh, just, you know, what it meant to be Jewish, okay? machine, which was his invention. Um, after the U2 project was basically settled, he left it to go into business. Uh, he had made the camera, then he went into business for himself. He, invent, he made a new invention, a type of extra super duper, duper copy machine, which I uh, brought me several times to the factory there. I had a couple of workers. He would go on, um, well, he'd make a whole bunch of these things. He had a patent, and then he'd go to New York for a couple of, you know, months a year, and he'd you know, sell them. And that's all the time we were in Newport Beach until at a certain point, like the Air Force industry figured that this was such a talented special engineer that they wanted him back. So they got him to work on their, uh, they got him to, get, to move near to their areas where there was actually an um, TRW to work on the uh, Star Wars program and the uh, things that were related to the. Well, uh, he was working on uh, basically the laser beam, um, spectroscopy, um, um, how to like, uh, when the, like, let's say you have a satellite that's taken a picture, so how do you analyze the exact uh, data inside the picture? You can't bring the satellite back to Earth. Um, a lot of things were related to the space industry at the time that uh, TOW is working on the Pioneer, the Pioneer 10, and also the um, 
the uh, Star Wars program. So here is a picture of the Pioneer Project. Um, the time my dad was working there. So um, just gives you um, a little bit of a picture there how it was uh, must have been the takeoff of Pioneer 10. Okay. Somewhere like on the, I think of the third, the uh, who knows, uh, tenth floor or something like that, and um, that's where he was working on the laser beam um, for laser communication, basically for the Star Wars program. 